Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you guys can see, earlier this morning, I seriously tweeted this little clip of the Android siblings, 17 and 18, and a lot of people are taking this to mean that he's telling us that the tech androids are coming next for global. And that seems to be the most reasonable way to look at this, so I'm gonna assume that's what he means, and if that is in fact what's happening, then honestly, I've got some pretty mixed feelings about this, you know? Because on the one hand, I'm very happy. I'm super excited for this unit. They've been one of my most highly anticipated units for quite some time, mostly for the Android 18, as you guys know, but also because they're just a very, very powerful unit that I'm excited to use, so there's that. But on the other hand, the timing of this release for global players is just terrible, guys. I mean, we're coming off of like four banners over the past three weeks, and two of them were really, really hype banners. The uh, New Year Step Ups, the SDR Super Vegeta banner, the Double Raids banner, and also the LR Super Janemba banner. So. I'm gonna assume that most of you guys watching right now, especially the free-to-play players, just have no stones to summon with right now. So when this banner comes out in, I don't know, one to two weeks, uh, you're probably only gonna be able to do like one or two multis as opposed to if they came out in late March, like most of us assumed, then you would have a lot more stones to uh, do some pulls, right? So yeah, that really sucks for global players, I feel like, because this is a very good unit, and I think a decent amount of people were looking forward to summoning for them, and now a lot of free-to-play players are just not really gonna have, uh, you know, a good chance to pull them, right? And it's also kind of weird, because if you guys saw the last data download we got for global, we got a bunch of untranslated assets for the uh, Dokkan Fest AGL Trunks, the one that transforms into Super Saiyan, right? And, uh... It made sense that Trunks would be the next Dokkan Fest on Global, and that would have been actually a much easier skip, because while Trunks is good, the androids I feel like are much better, and the androids banner was much better too on JAP. Actually, speaking of the banner, this is the other thing that really sucks for Global players. Uh, the JAP banner for the androids was actually one of the better Dokkan Fest banners that we would have received this year, but because we're getting it earlier than expected, STR Super Vegeta is not going to be on it, because obviously they're not going to include a unit that just came out on the banner that comes out right after, so they're going to be replacing this guy with, I don't know, whoever else, and no matter who they replace him with, it's not going to be as exciting of a banner anymore. Uh, let's say it's, I don't know, Tech Gohan, or... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, Kefla, Kaelin Khalifla, like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. No matter who they put in STR Super Vegeta spot, this banner is not going to be as good. It's not going to be as exciting for most people. And uh, it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. So that's why I say, that's why I say very mixed emotions. On the one hand, I really want the androids. I'm happy they're coming earlier than expected, but I didn't want them, you know, at the expense of a worse banner and also at the expense of like most people just not having stones to uh, summon for them. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just like letting my own emotions uh, take over my, my views of this whole situation because I'm excited for the androids. Um, Maybe most people aren't as excited as I am, but that's just how I see the situation right now. Um, how about you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, you know, like, are, are you happy or sad or kind of neutral about this news? You know, like, maybe you weren't really looking forward to them anyways, so this doesn't matter to you. But at the very least, at the very least, you must be disappointed at the fact that the Android's banner will no longer have STR Vegeta. I mean, that's a big loss for Global, right? And who knows when uh, 
they'll bring him back now. Like, it could be on the Trunks banner, but it could also be, like, way in the future. Um, you know, they've been known to actually delay unit returns for a long time. Like, look at the tech hit. Like, tech hit was an extreme example for sure. It was an extreme example, but tech hit took almost a full year to return on global. And I'm not saying this is going to happen to Vegeta, but there is legitimate concern. There is legitimate concern. So I'm hoping that those worries are unfounded and we get STR Vegeta back on like the Gohan banner or, sorry, not Gohan banner, the, uh, the Trunks banner or something like that. But who knows, man? Who really knows when it comes to global? Like it's just kind of a mess. So anyways, guys, that is the news. Um, shout out to I seriously. And of course, nothing is confirmed right now, right? This is not like official news, but at this point, anything that I seriously says is pretty close to official because this guy is almost never wrong. Like he's been wrong maybe one time since I started covering Dokkan news. So he has like a 99.9% .9 accuracy. And uh, I think the androids are coming next. So yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. And real quick, before we go, if you guys want to know exactly what the androids do, then I'll quickly go over their details. Okay, so their leader skill is Worldwide Turmoil, which is a new category or Future Saga. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack, Excel Dance raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And seals super attack. Passive is attack plus 170%, defense plus 100 and 80% randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, tech excluded, to tech key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% per tech key sphere obtained, or plus an additional attack plus 18% and defense plus 17% per non tech key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 70% with 7 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional defense plus 80% with 8 or more key spheres obtained, and then key plus 1 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained launches an additional super attack when HP is 35% or less, and then nullifies key blast super attacks directed at the character when HP is 35% or more. Active skill delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn, and the condition is can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 35% or more or can be activated upon entering attacking turn when facing three or more enemies once only. And links are Organic Upgrade, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Future Saga, Androids, Joint Forces, Sibling Spawn, Android Slash Cell Saga, and Worldwide Turmoil. So there you go guys, that is the tech Android 17 and 18. Like I said, just an insane Dokkan Fest unit, uh, one of the probably better units to come out this year. I just thought they would come out a little bit later, um, but I guess that's not the case. Uh, on, the, on, the, on the bright side, I guess, we are going to be getting the Fizz uh, Gohan EZA sooner than later, or sooner than expected as well, and also the uh, LR17 and 18, the free-to-play one, um, Extreme Z Awakening 2, so that's exciting, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm still a little bit conflicted about how to feel about this, honestly. But I guess uh, it's going to happen anyways, so there's no point in worrying about it. So that is the news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.